children now let us discuss about the pythagorean triplets which is necessary for the solution of the multiple choice question easily and quickly now what are pythagorean triplets and it is a set of three numbers what is pythagorean triplet it is a set of three numbers we know that it is a specific set of integers that is satisfies the pythagoras theorem what do you mean by pythagorean triplets it is a set of three numbers so you take you must know some sets of pythagorean triplets because while solving multiple choice questions in many cases you need pythagorean triplets so if you know some sets then you can easily recognize the answer to save the time then you can use that time to solve the difficulty level questions and what are pythagorean triplets specific set of three integers that satisfies pythagoras theorem and what is the statement of the pythagoras theorem theorem in a right triangle triangle square on the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the squares on the other two sides so you can take the pythagorean triplets what is pythagorean triplets it is a set of three integers in which square of a biggest number is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two numbers sum of the squares of the other two numbers they are the measurements of the sides of right angle triangle they are the measurements of the sides of the right angle triangle if you take the rough sketch of the right angle triangle consider abc is a right angle triangle with angle b equals 90 degree you know which is the greatest side of the right angle triangle the side opposite to the right angle which is called the hypotenuse so this is the greatest side so the square on the hypotenuse square of the biggest side means that is the square on the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the squares on the other two sides that is ac square equals ab square plus bc square that is nothing but the measurements here so you know that phi square equals 4 square plus 3 square that is 25 equals 16 plus 9 so here this 3 4 5 3 4 is one of the simple set of pythagorean triplets it is the simplest set of pythagorean triplets you know that the square of 3 plus square of 4 equals to square of 5 so square of 3 is 9 square of 4 is 16 square of 5 is 25 9 plus 16 equals what 25 now you can have more number of examples so you take the multiples of this 3 4 and 5 if you if you multiply all these numbers by 2 you will get 6 8 10 this 6 8 10 is also pythagorean triplet you can verify here 6 square is 36 8 square is 64 10 square is 100 and 36 plus 64 is equals to 100 therefore it is the set of pythagorean triplet so all these are the multiples of 3 that is 3 into 2 4 into 2 5 into 2 similarly if 3 all these numbers are multiplied by 3 you will get the next set 3 3 is a 9 4 3 is a 12 5 3 is a 15 this 9 12 15 also one of the pythagorean triplets so you can verify here 9 square 81 12 square 144 and 15 square 225 then if you add this 4 plus 1 5 8 plus 4 12 and 1 carry 1 plus 1 2 so the sum of this 81 and 144 is equals to what 225 that is by if you know the one pythagorean triplets then the if it is multiplied by 2 3 4 like this way the by multiplying all the numbers in the pythagorean triplet in the same by the same number you will get the next pythagorean triplets so let us verify here some numbers this is the 3 4 5 this is a pythagorean triplets and by using this number you can write many sets you know that 6 
फोर टू जर एट फाइव टू जर टेन नेक्स्ट थ्री थ्री जर नाइन फोर थ्री जर ट्वेल्व फाइव थ्री जर फिफ्टीन अगेन थ्री फोर जर ट्वेल्व फोर फोर जर सिक्सटीन फाइव फाइव जर ट्वेंटी फाइव अगेन थ्री फाइव जर फिफ्टीन फोर फाइव जर ट्वेंटी इट बिकम्स ट्वेंटी थ्री फोर जर ट्वेल्व फोर फोर जर सिक्सटीन फाइव फोर जर ट्वेंटी सो यू टेक This is twenty. So verify. You must do the some basic sets of triplets. So first one is three, four, five. Second five, twelve, thirteen. Next seven, twenty-four, twenty-five. Eight, fifteen, seventeen. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-nine. Twelve, thirty-five, thirty-seven. Sometimes in trigonometry and also in the triangle chapter, you will get the Questions based on the Pythagorean triplets. If two numbers are given, the third can be known immediately by knowing the Pythagorean triplets. So here, with the help of three, four, five, you can get the infinite number of Pythagorean triplets. Similarly, with the help of this five, twelve, thirteen also, you can get infinite number of Pythagorean triplets by using all these basic sets. It is possible to get the infinite number of Pythagorean triplets. But here you must know this perfectly to solve the problems in the chapter triangle and trigonometry. So here, if five and twelve are given, then third can be make out easily if you know the set. Similarly, in many cases, twenty-four and twenty-five will be given, and seven can be recognized immediately. That especially in the trigonometry. You know that opposite side, adjacent sides, and hypotenuse are to be calculated sometime. If two are given, third can be easily make out by knowing the Pythagorean triplets. Children, to solve the multiple choice questions of this year question paper, it is better to know these Pythagorean triplets. That is three, four, five, five, twelve, thirteen, seven, twenty-four, twenty-five, eight, fifteen, seventeen. Similarly, six, eight, ten, nine, twelve, fifteen, etc. Three five zero, four five zero twenty. Three five zero fifteen. Five five zero twenty five. Verify here. Fifteen square is two twenty five, and twenty square is four hundred. Twenty five square is six twenty five. The sum of these two, two twenty five plus four hundred, is equals to six twenty five. In this way, exactly you will get the Pythagorean triplets as a multiples of three four five. Here you must multiply all these three four and five by the same number. Then you will get the Pythagorean triplet. Similarly for this also, you know that five two is a ten, five two is a twenty four, thirteen two is a twenty six. So this is one of the Pythagorean triplets. Similarly, again if it is multiplied by three, five three is a fifteen, twelve three is a thirty six, thirteen three is a thirty nine. This is also one of the Pythagorean triplets. So first you know the basic sets. Here, yeah. first basic set is three, four, five. Next, here yeah, after three, next you will get five, twelve, thirteen. Then seven, twenty-four, twenty-five, and eight, fifteen, seventeen. Then twenty, twenty-one, twenty-nine. See here, twelve, thirty-five, thirty-seven. In this set. The prime number will be there, thirteen and five. Here three and five. Here only one is there, seven. Next year seventeen is prime. Here twenty nine is prime. Here thirty seven is prime. One or two prime numbers will be there. But see this example. All or even numbers. See this example. Two even number. Uh, All numbers are there. One even number is there. See this one. All are even number. See this one. One number is even number. The remaining two are odd numbers. Here, naturally you can see that all are even number or two odd, one even, and out of two odd there may be prime number also. Prime number may be there. So. These are. This is about the Pythagorean triplets. Infinite numbers of Pythagorean triplets are there. You know some simple 
set of Pythagorean triplets. That is to solve the multiple choice questions easily.